Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, July 1st, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you won't hit the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have rallied yet again today testing these previous highs and it, it looks like we are going to go higher here we're on the edge of being overbought but there's still a lot of room to the upside here in the bollinger band so we may be heading towards in 93 we'll mostly have a crossing of the 200 moving average and the 20 exponential moving average and that should be a bullish signal and then we have the 50 moving average going to travel this way and if we have a crossing of the 50 and the 200 then that is a really bullish signal that this will most likely go significantly higher and of course that will be very negative for for example indices um stocks and also for commodities precious metals especially gold for example and oil so let's look at oil so oil uh, well it's kind of trading flat at this current stage we have been up and down on on um, on thursday session over negative right now and um, at this current stage we're just in the middle of nowhere we need to break the break towards support at the middle of the bullish band or even the 50 moving average in order for this to become interesting 70 should be a very interesting level but especially the 50 moving average down here at the 67.88 should be really interesting so we are on the edge of being overbought we were at the base of the top here usually this tends to fall towards the support before going higher uh, 77 most likely be our target in the long run if you look at technical indicators here we can see the macd has crossed the signal line stochastic is flat cgi is still bullish and the rsi is flat at this current stage so let's look at natural gas which has an absolute epic day today so yes we did uh, there was uh, the massive move, for example, for example, to the upside towards the uh, 3.8. Then it fell all the way down towards the 3.5. I thought this was gonna completely collapse towards the uh, towards uh, 50 no, the middle of the bullish band. But all of a sudden, it rallied, and now it opened in negative, and kind of is significantly over um, overbought at this point overstretched it's just a matter of time before we see a candlestick similar to that one and similar to this one this one until it basically follows the board i know there's a massive heat wave in the united states and uh, that of course has a major effect but uh, things can't go parabolical forever so you need pullbacks towards uh, uh, support for and that's where people will also start buying into this people are buying the dips as we are seeing here we're seeing it here and so on and that will most likely um continue as long as weather conditions are as they are so let's look at copper so copper is uh, still struggling at the 20 exponential we did a rally up towards the uh, 20 exponential and got basically rejected there and now we're just hanging around here uh, if we don't manage to break above here, then we'll, it's fairly likely that we'll retest uh, 4.08. And if that gives away, then the 200 moving average in case of race uh, at uh, 3.8. Um, so if you look at technical indicators, they are all flat, mainly to the fact that we have basically been trading sideways the last uh, uh, week and a half. Stochastic, MAC, MACD is flat, stochastic is flat, CGI is negative at this point, and the RSI is flat. So let's look at gold. yes so gold is still struggling here it is uh, doesn't look like we are going to rally above the 20 exponential or the 50 at this point it's more likely that we'll drop towards 1700 and then the previous lows at the double bottom here at around 1677 that is more likely if the us dollar continues to uh, to appreciate then it should be working against uh, the the gold value uh, we are fairly low here in the RSI, and um, I, it's not impossible for us to rally up towards the 20, but it's fairly likely that we'll see something similar to this that will break down at that point where uh, people will come in and basically sell this to the downside. We um, Yes, so at this point, if um, the double bottom here uh, uh, gives away, then we will probably look at 1500. 
So let's look at silver. So silver is still uh, had a really good day uh, on Wednesday, rallied quite significantly up towards uh, 26.10. Uh, uh, and uh, that rally could continue up towards the 20 exponential at uh, 26.42 or the middle of bullish band up here at 26.69. Technical indicators, they are still fairly bearish, but the MACD is turning around here. Could cross the signal in the next day or two. The stochastic is flat, CGI is uh, negative, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. Break below the 200 moving average, then we are probably looking at a drop all the way down to 23.78. So let's look at platinum. Yes, so platinum continues to uh, kind of fall. We did break towards uh, 1050 and then we rallied, but the technical indicators, they are still very bearish. It looks like that 20 expansion is um, acting as resistance, so rallies up to the 20 have been sold into, and we may see a continuation of that. If this level here of 1032 gives away, then we'll probably drop in towards 1000, and then significantly lower than that. It is definitely, we're definitely in a downtrend, and it looks like we haven't gone to have a crossing of the 20 exponential and 200 moving average, and in the long run, probably also the 50 and the 200 moving average will cross, which will be a very negative sign for, for platinum. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat at this point. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium continues to rally, had a massive day today, and now we are getting close to the 50 moving average, and that is going to be the test here. Last time we tested the 50 moving average, this happened. And since then, we have been rallying, and the question is whether or not we managed to break above the 50 or we get rejected and fall back towards the 200 moving average. Basically meaning that we'll just go sideways in this market. We have seen that before. We saw it here when we mostly was uh, all the way from roughly July, end of July last year, and until we basically broke out. This was in March in this year. We're trading within the square. So this market can stay in a range for a really long time, meaning that this could drop towards a 200, rally 200, and then just go on forever like that. However, technical indicators are very bullish for this market. We have had a massive rally towards the upside after this broke down, and therefore it shouldn't be strange that they are very bullish. So let's look at aluminium. Yes. So aluminium can, and now has found resistant where we found resistant in the past. And now it kind of looks like we are about to break back down towards the, uh, the middle of the bullish band at 2438 and probably down to the very lows here of 2338. So it is also trading within the square at this current stage. If we manage to break above here, then we are going significantly higher, probably up towards at 2750. But uh, it looks like this area is a massive resistant and it is not very really likely that we'll go past that at this point. MACD is bullish, stochastic is a bearish at this point, CCI is, big, is uh, still bullish, and the RSI is flat. So let's look at nickel. So nickel has been going back and forward. Uh, we're kind of slightly uptrending, but still within this range um kind of looks like we are within a range of roughly around this area here where we are slightly going upwards and this could mean that we will drop back towards the 17 uh, uh, 70,260 before going higher and then just going like this break above this uh, resistant uh, resistant line then we could uh, go straight towards 2000 but that doesn't look very likely that's this point so if you look at stochastic the macd is flat stochastic is bearish the cci is bullish and the rsi is flat so they're all over the place so let's look at sugar so sugar continues to rally to the upside and also here it looks like we are just trading within a square so the highs of give or take 
0 0.18 and the, where the lows here of 1616. So we're getting at, to the top of this range. If we break above here, then we could go and test these previous highs of 1878. And uh, that is to be seen. Um, we have a crossing here of the 20 exponential and the 50, uh, very uh, bullish candle, uh, bullish shine. And other technical news are very bullish as we have been rallying from the bottom here. So it is to be seen whether or not we manage to break above that. But uh, yes, so let's look at cotton. So cotton who fell off a cliff today. So um, yes, it looked like it was running out of steam, but today it really gave um, those gains uh, away. So we break above underneath the 50 moving average. If we fall, continue to fall, then we're mostly going to test the previous lows here, 0 0.8346, and the bottom of the bullish band uh, a little bit lower. If that gives away, then you have the 200 moving average down here at uh, roughly uh, 0 0.80. It will be when this occurs. So technical indicators are all turning around and becoming negative. MACD is just above the signal line, but it is turning around. So yes, that is a really nasty bearish candlestick. So let's look at Kakoa. So Kakoa is still struggling at the 20 exponential. We are still in a slight downtrend. Um, if we break below uh, these um, level here, it kind of looks like we are kind of have these lows right here at the 23, 22, give or take. And uh, then we are having these, you see, top, top, top. If we were to rally here, then we'll probably not go further than roughly 24, uh, 32, give or, uh, or 59, I was supposed to say. If we break below here, then we are dropping significantly lower towards these previous lows here at 22, 39, and then towards the 20, 95, most likely. So we are probably going to see this going into the corner for the next really choppy, extremely boring trading and risky trading, to be very honest. This has been absolutely horrible to be trading this for the last, uh, basically the last half a year. This was uh, fun, also the downturn, uh, Fibonacci pullbacks here. And since then it has been all over the place. So I stayed far away from this. So let's look at wheat. So wheat completely ran massive rally to the upside today. We uh, found support here at the 200 moving average and then bang to the upside. At this current stage, we uh, are most likely going to test uh, 50 in moving average. And probably the reason for this is also another the conditions in the United States. The drought will most likely have an enormous effect on harvest and therefore uh, supply of the corn will be significantly uh, decreased off uh, the weather conditions if this continues. So all technical indicators are all turning around and a break above the 50, then we could see a most likely a parabolical move like this to the upside if this continues. So we saw that we bounce from the 200 moving average here. We'll probably have another bounce of the 200 moving average continuing this upside. So 200 moving average is definitely a um, area of support or a, a moving average of support. And as long as we stay above that, then we are going to rally towards the upside. At the moment, if we break above the 50, then we could target um, 750. So, hope you find this helpful. If you want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.